we made reservations over at the Crystal Palace because they have those churro waffles. And Winnie the Pooh is currently signing autographs right behind us. What's happening? Oh my gosh. Something sweet. That wasn't the right word, Marcus. I got my bacon covering everything right now. But oh yeah. Hey everyone, my name is Michael. Mike, Mickey, or hey you. During the pandemic, I started a podcast like everyone else in the world. But then my fiance introduced me to the Disney vlogging community. I've had some amazing adventures, met so many new people, and made lifelong friends. I want to share it all with you, so come along as my story continues with something I call Mousepiration. Well, I'm back in the Magic Kingdom. It is hot out this morning, for sure. Again, I feel like I open up the vlog saying that every time, but it is very hot out because that sun is strong. But more importantly, if you remember in the last vlog I did, I came to Magic Kingdom and I was trying to find a place to have breakfast. I was trying to get the chicken and waffles uh, over at Sleepy Hollow, but I didn't know that they didn't bring out the chicken until around 11 o'clock. So this time, I want to make sure I have breakfast here at the Magic Kingdom. So this way, we made reservations over at the Crystal Palace because they have those churro waffles. And I have never dined there before for breakfast, so that's going to be fun. I'm excited. It's also buffet style, and you have... It's a character breakfast, so there's Winnie Pooh and friends walking around. So, win-win. And it is a perfect perfect morning like i said yes it's hot out but the castle just looks it looks gorgeous right now you got oh i see the trolley coming down or coming up main street So if you want the opportunity to travel down Main Street or up Main Street in the vehicle of Main Street, make sure you get here nice and early. And uh, they'll be driving up and down Main Street. You can just literally hop on if there's an open seat. This has got to be one of my favorite views right here with the fountain. Not the lamppost, but the fountain. So I got my neck fan on. I am ready to seize the day but I feel like there's no way to prepare for this heat. Chrissy and I kind of said, oh, this may be a quick day uh, because it is very hot. We are sweating like crazy. So the Florida heat is real, but if you can't stand the heat, get yourself a neck fan. That's how the saying goes, right? But we did check in to the Crystal Palace using the My Disney Experience app. You can check in 20 minutes ahead of time. I highly recommend that because usually it'll ask you who's checking in you know you put down how many adults actually showed up how many kids actually showed up you can put down your dietary needs you can put down everything on the my disney experience app even some places offer seating preferences like the grand floridian cafe uh, but it also helps you check in 20 minutes early you don't have to go up to the front and wait online for everybody else checking in or join the walk-up line uh, and then it also you may get seated a little bit sooner which would be nice right now i i, I am sweating and this is what I was talking about here. If you check in on the My Disney Experience app, you don't have to wait online to check in at the front there. But here we are, Crystal Palace. And we are here for breakfast, which is from 8 a.m. to 10.45. It is buffet style. I'm excited, but more importantly, I'm excited for those churro waffles that I've been seeing. So... <laughs> Nice. Alright, so we just got seated and the first thing they hand us was to celebrate the Friendship Day celebration. They sent us a little card with everybody's signature on the back. And they said once the waiter or waitress takes our drink order, then we can go ahead and uh, dive into the buffet. An all-you-eat can eat buffet. I don't know any buffet that's not all-you-can-eat, but... <laughs> 
and Tigger's walking around over there. I see Eeyore in the distance as well. So the last time Chrissy was here was in when? 2013? Last time I was here was 2007. So it's been a long time. Now you know how I feel about breakfast in Disney. I feel like breakfast is breakfast is breakfast. It's all the same stuff. Waffles, bacon, sausage, eggs, so on and so forth. Specifically, again, we are here, or I'm here, for the churro waffles. But I haven't seen them yet. And our waitress just told us that all the characters should be passing by, so stay tuned. French toast? Yes, yeah, French toast. Is that French toast? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I gotta, I have to, uh, French toast is my favorite. I'm here for churro waffles, but French toast is my favorite. I'm just gonna grab one piece. Just one, just one, just one. All right, and then the Mickey shaped churro waffles is what we're going for next. And I gotta get some eggs. I gotta be, I need something that's semi healthy. All right, that's, that's gotta be enough for our first plate. <laughs> that should be enough for the whole plate. All right, grab some maple syrup over here. Even though I probably don't need it. I know, what a mistake. Oh, and Winnie Pooh's right by my table. Oh my goodness. And Winnie the Pooh is currently signing autographs right behind us. We just took some pictures with Pooh. But let's get down to this food. I got my bacon covering everything right now. But, oh yeah. That's what I'm here for. So, Chrissy just told me we should make the churro waffles at home. I guess we got some homework to do. Wait, there's some music going on right now. What's happening? something sweet. That wasn't the right word, Marcus. So I think they're about to start like a parade around the Crystal Palace. I want to try these churro waffles first. Did you have the churro waffle with syrup? Or by itself? No, by itself. By itself? Mm -hmm. I figured it had enough sugar on it. That's my favorite waffle. That is really good. That was freaking adorable. So, back to this churro waffle. It's so good because it tastes just like a churro, but now you put maple syrup on that churro. Now, Chrissy went dry, which is still good. I've had it dry, but the syrup, it definitely moistens it up a little bit. Oh my. Okay, so I know I said that every Disney breakfast is the same and it's still true but i found out something i'm gonna share with you in just a second i just got to get out of here first all right so i was saying earlier inside the crystal palace that i discovered something about breakfast originally i said that breakfast is the same everywhere because breakfast is breakfast is breakfast sorry chrissy is showing me the cute little ducks over here <laughs> but uh yes so the breakfast is the same everywhere you go in Walt Disney World. If you're somebody like me, who constantly gets the same thing. They actually had a bunch of variety inside there. And now that I'm thinking back, they have all these great different combinations for breakfast at different spots. But me, I'm like simple. I love French toast and I love Mickey waffles. So that's what I get every time I go have breakfast. So that's why I keep saying breakfast is the same everywhere. It's because it's me, I get the same thing. So. Now I think I need to go to back to some of my favorite breakfast spots and like 
swear off any kind of Mickey waffles, any kind of French toast, and get whatever specialty that they may have going on, or just the different menu items that I probably wouldn't normally get. Recently, we went to Steak 71 and I had the blueberry lemon waffle uh, pancakes. Not my favorite. But overall, the Crystal Palace breakfast was really fun. It was good. It was great. The churro waffles were great. They lived up to the expectation. They were really good dry, but they were even better with the syrup because, like I said, the syrup adds that like little bit of a moist consistency uh, because otherwise they are a little bit hard. But I think Chrissy was onto something that we need to create these churros at home. And also the price isn't that bad. It is a buffet for $45 per adult, all you can eat, and then you get your 10% annual pass discount. So the bill came out to about 100 bucks, and it was totally worth it. We are full, and to digest, we may have to go ride Big Thunder Railroad. All right, that one's a quickie. Just our time at the Crystal Palace and that churro waffle. And until next time, let us not lose sight of one thing, that it all started with a man behind the mouse. And it continues with mouse inspiration. We hope to see you real soon.